Hey guys, and welcome back, and we are still going through Adachi's side of the story, so let's continue on. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? So he's talking about Kubo, the guy, the little kid who took the blame for most of the murders. You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. Is the shadow? But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Looks like we have a time limit to get to Adachi. Get back here, you! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? It doesn't seem too far-fetched with the fog leaking into the other world. The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? It might. Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means... This world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Whoa. Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? No more. Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. What the hell? There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves for... We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. But now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared. Over prepared. Prince all over his stupid smug face. 
Let's do it. All right. By pulling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. All right. So it looks like we have a way to Adachi. He actually gave us a path to Adachi. So now we're going to prepare for it and fight him when the time comes. All right. So the unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. But before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve to fully prepare before facing Adachi. All right. So we have some time before then. So it's the evening and we are going to save and continue on with the story from there. So let us go upstairs. Let's see what is up there. So you should rest early today to get re uh, ready for the search. So we're going to go to sleep. There's not much that we can do. Uh, we could go outside, but we let's continue on. So let's see what this is all about. It's still like a text message or something. Hello, it's me. Uh, look, I want to go see more places. Show me around, okay? I'm being bored to death in this room. When you're not here, it's just awful. I'll ask Margaret to let me out more often, too. Bye. Alright, so it seems like I can hang out with Marie. You have a feeling you'll be spending a lot more time with Marie. You should find some time to visit her. So it looks like we are going to hang out with Marie. It looks like we have a month to go through most of this dungeon. So we're going to take our time and do what we do most. So the fog is getting way more uh, thick. You can actually see spots on the screen. That's actually not your monitor. That is the game. So you overhear students talking. Yeah, it's getting it's like particles in the air. Is this fog getting thicker and thicker or is it just me? Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. What do you think's going to happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Ugh, nothing's gonna happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Besides, it's if something horrible or terrible happens, the defense force or somebody is sure to come save us. That person is right behind you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah! What if some giant monster attacks Inaba? Or, or aliens? I saw a movie about something like that. Oh, stop that, you silly goose. You silly goose. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Alright, so, ah, uh, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? You decided to go check your test results. Let us go see. So, in all of this, we're still returning to our normal school life, which is quite weird. I think it would, everyone would be in the fray or anxious, but no, not actually. You got the highest score. Whoa, you're a genius, you. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I got the highest grade myself. Your social link friends seem to be looking at you admiringly. You feel that you became closer to your school friends. Uh, lunch break is almost over, you decide to return back to class. Get the highest grade in the class, boys. Just like in real life. <laughs> class is ended for today. The real culprit has been finally identified. Is it possible that the fog will shroud the entire world by the end of the year? Regardless, you must defeat the one behind, uh, behind all of this before then. So, uh... We are actually going to hang out with Marie, and then tomorrow we are going to go and hang out. Or, we're going to go into the world and get to the very end, but get through our... Get to the very end, but not fight him yet. But we're going to talk to Marie real quick. So, oh, you're here? Hey, I have somewhere I want to go today. It seems Marie wants to go somewhere. You feel like your relationship with Marie won't deepen just yet. Alright, so we're going to spend the afternoon with Marie. We want to get the social link all the way up before facing the boss. So we're going to have some time here. You feel like your relationship with her is going to become closer soon. So it's at uh, 4. And we're going to continue on. So you can work as a janitor today at the hospital. So we can actually go and finally work as a janitor today. We have uh, plenty of time to do the... Uh, to do the job and that's job to find Adachi in the TV world so want to get our social links up because I feel like something might happen so we're gonna go in here we're gonna try and get our social link all the way up uh, where courage is increased but that's already maxed out and we're gonna see if Sayako is actually going to deepen yet and it doesn't see oh actually it is alright so that's gonna be level 10 for her for the next day so Tomorrow, on Friday, we're probably going to go into the, the TV world on Sunday, get to the very end, and we're going to see how that progresses. Hey. Oh, good morning, Yukun. It's finally time to fight the real culprit. To be honest, I'm still shocked to learn that it was Adachi-san. 
but I can never forgive what he said or what he's done. Are you alright? We have to win this battle. Uh-huh, I won't lose either. I'm just worried about Nanako-chan, and we can't just let him do whatever he wants. We'll put an end to this, for everyone's sake, and for my own. There you have it. So, now we're gonna go hang out with Marie-san. So it's the afternoon, what is this? We have class still, so it's sure getting cold, and as we move into December, the fog's not lifting either. So be sure to stay healthy. <laughs> I was just watching something on TV. Those polar bears sure are active, even in the cold. Fuzzy wuzzy <laughs> polar bears, therefore, isn't actually white, you know. Uh, isn't that right, Yukun? You seem happy about something. Okay. Uh, do you know what color a fuzzy wuzzy polar bear's fur really is? Fuzzy wuzzy fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy's bear it's actually is transparent. Uh, you gave the answer you think is correct. Yep, uh, good job. Yep, it's actually transparent. The transparent fur scatters the white that hits it, making it appear white to us. Their skin is black, though, letting them efficiently absorb the sun's rays. Those animals are well equipped to have fun in the cold. Hee hee hee. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. There you have it. So, we are going to continue on. Uh, is it possible the, the fog will shroud the entire world by the end of the year? Regardless, you must defeat one, the one behind all of this before then. So, for the plan for today is talk to Marie, and after that, uh, it's probably going to end the episode, and then the next episode, we are going to go to the janitor, and then after that, we're gonna go into the TV world and finally face Adachi. So, huh? you're here? Hey, uh, will you take me somewhere? It seems Marie wants to go out. You feel your relationship with Marie will deepen, and we're gonna hang out with Marie. So, this is gonna mark the fifth. So, we're in Juness Food Court. You decided to come here for a rest after taking Marie out. The fog has enveloped the area. Marie doesn't seem to mind the fog at all. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink, something that isn't sweet, and not water. Alright, how about tea? How about some iced tea? Welcome! And it's Teddy, so she hasn't met Teddy yet. Oh, who's this girl? Is she your skirt? She's quite the naughty boy, aren't ya? You're quite the oh, naughty boy, aren't ya? What the heck is this thing? It's moving. Gross. Wow, how rude. How can you say... That about so cute little moi. And it talks? What's it made out of? Ahem, this teddy is 50% kindness by volume. Huh? What about the other half? Teddy fur. Kindness and fur? <laughs> Alright, and Yosuke. Oh, hey, it's you and Marie-chan. What you up to at this time? Taking a tour of Juness? Oh, well. <laughs> If that's what you're doing, it's just the man, or I'm just the man you need. Welcome to Juness, uh, Yos, Yos, Yosi Inaba branch. Uh-huh, I don't need a tour, I already saw it. Whoa, Yosuke got denied. Shut up, it's nothing like that. Yo. Yo, Yosuke, you know that CD I was asking about? Oh, who's this? Who's this old-timer? Old-timer? I see what you mean, Kanji isn't that old. Yeah, he's younger than we are, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, what kind of defense is that? <laughs> Kanji, what are you yelling about? I thought you came to talk with Yosuke-san. Oh, Senpai. <laughs> Sizing up the other person. Whoa. Senpai, who is this girl and what is she doing with you? I know this person. I heard about her from Margaret, someone even I can't handle. It's <laughs> that's about right. That's uh, that's about right. That's not how it is. It's something even I can handle. That's not so different. Yes it is. Yosuke senpai, what's with this girl? Me? She's Marie Chan, use mate. No Ma way. What mate? Sorry, I think I just added fuel to the fire. What's wrong, everyone? I can hear you from over there. Oh, so you're Senpai's Seer. What the hell is a Seer, Sundir? Seer is a term used today to refer to as friends. It's originally derived from no, 
referring to companion role. No? No? No what? Oh, sorry, like, uh, kabuki, no, is a traditional form of tradi uh, Japanese entertainment, and... But I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and to see the conclusion of this